Yesterday was the big game and congratulations to the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots. But even bigger than winning the Super Bowl is saving lives. More than 40 million Americans wouldn't be here without the help of a first responder. And last night we debuted a new ad as part of our The Team That Wouldn't Be Here campaign. Take a look. Hi, my name is Anthony Lynn. In 2005, I was in a horrible car accident. I was hit by a car going 50 miles an hour. And I promise you I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the first responders. They told me that I flew 45, 50 feet in the air. The doctor told me, he said, you're very, you're very lucky. It was a miracle. Hi, Coach. My name is Jim Brittle. It's my partner, Craig Kelly. We're the first two first responders on scene. Coach, my name is Skyla Bosco. I was the paramedic on Medic Engine 1 that evening. I've often thought about, you know, who showed up that night. I never thought I'd see you. I mean, that's, it's unbelievable. They said I had to have some angels with me that night to survive. I believe you guys are angels. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What a powerful ad. There's still time to visit allourthanks.com and show your support for first responders. And for every share of the content, Verizon will donate a dollar, up to $1.5 million to first responders outreach. And if you missed the employee preview of the documentary, The Team That Wouldn't Be Here, you can catch it tonight on CBS Sports at 9 p.m. Eastern. And beginning February 7th, the documentary will be available on Fios and Yahoo Sports through the end of the month. I just love the ad, and I love our broader commitment to first responders through things like Responder Private Core, 5G first responder labs, unlimited data plan discounts, and now through February 27th, military and first responders get a $100 gift card with a new line or bring your own device and unlimited for as low as $30 a line for four lines. Just another way we're showing our support. And throughout the week, our Tony McNary has been keeping us up to speed on everything happening in Atlanta. So who better to wrap it all up than Tony? What a week. It has been such an awesome experience here at Super Bowl 53. We had a chance to do and see so much. So today I want to share with you some of the highlights. Now one of those include our team showing up and surprising some local first responders. It's just a small way to show them we truly appreciate what they do every single day. So we're on Atlanta Skyview. This is the big Ferris wheel which takes people about 20 stories up above Super Bowl Live. You know what else is up? Verizon up, surprising our customers with once in a lifetime experiences. Verizon giving out gifts, and um, two lucky people are going to win Super Bowl tickets tonight is James and Nicole Williams. Y'all are going to the Super Bowl on Sunday. Make some noise for Verizon! So when they said your names, what was going through your mind? I was dreaming. I thought I was sleeping. <laughs> It. How does it feel, Roddy, to be able to give this experience to these people? Well, it was really good because she wanted to go to the Super Bowl and it was on her bucket list, so we made her day by doing that today. And he wanted to go, even though his, his team ain't going, he wanted to just be in the building. So everybody's happy today, man, and I'm just happy that Verizon can make this happen for them. That was actually one of my favorite moments of the week. Well, that's going to do it for us here in Atlanta. And I got to tell you, I am already excited about the big game next year in Miami. Until next time, you're up to speed.